So in this question, this is about thermal physics, and it's actually about specific heat and latent heat. So we're told that we have ice and has a mass M. It's initially got a temperature of minus five degrees Celsius. Now you just leave it there and it ends up melting. And in fact, then you even add more energy to it. It makes water. And that water has a temperature of 50 degrees Celsius. So in other words, you start off with a temperature of minus five degrees Celsius of ice. And when you're done with whatever you do to it, you end up with water at 50 degrees Celsius. The question is how much energy is needed to make this happen. Now you're told some things. So you're given Ci, this specific heat capacity of ice. You're also told Cw. We're just going to call it that variable. That's a specific heat capacity of water. And then we have uh, L here, which is the latent heat of fusion. Now what really happened, uh, so what's really important is to know how to use these. And what I like to do, I always like to consider uh, this idea here that Remember energy, by the way, that's what we call Q here. That's this energy or heat. That's what it's called here. And I always set it up like heat gained equals heat lost in case you're having different situations here. But here there's just Q gained. Everything just gains energy. And so what you have to do is this. When you're looking at a gained situation, you have to have or consider raising the temperature of each of these things and you also have to change the phase. That's the key sort of things here. That, um, let's see here. So we have uh, a few different situations happening. We have, let's say here, we can say that the ice heats up. All right, that's what first happens. The ice has to heat up. Um, I should say heats up, shouldn't I? Oops. So the ice, it actually heats up. Now, what do we do with that? When something heats up, we have um, this equation, Q equals MC delta T. That's what we have. Oops, we normally write it with a capital T. So MC delta T. Um, then we end up with uh, the ice itself. What will it do? It'll melt. When it melts, that means it changes from a solid to a liquid. And anytime you have a phase change, that's what's going on here. Anytime you have a phase change, you have to consider a term Q equals ML. That's just the equation. These you find in your data booklet. Okay, so this one right here, Q equals MC delta T, and Q equals ML, whoops. Uh, those are the equations that you need to use. You can look them up. You don't have to memorize them. Now keep in mind though, the ice melts, that's true. But once the ice is melted, something else happens to it. Right, now you have water, and the water also heats up. So you have that happening as well. So you have another Q equals MC delta T for the water. So if you consider that then, the amount gained, if we put it back here now to Q gained here, so Q gained, I just have to consider all these cases. So we have the ice heating up first. We have an M, I'll put a little, put a little subscripts everywhere, M ice, C ice, delta T ice. But of course I have to add extra energy to melt the ice. So I'm going to have plus M ice times L. And I have that. Plus, I've got to heat up the water. So that's why I have M water, C water, delta T water. Now, we can make things a little bit easier because we know we're told that we had the same amount of uh, mass. You know, we're told that it's just the ice's mass is called M. So the good news is now I can make that and that and that, just M. That becomes easier. Um, and I can go a step further. Let's see here. I can say then that the Q gained, I'll just do it in different color now. It's going to be M times C ice. Now what's the change in temperature of the ice? Think about it, it starts off at minus five, it finishes at zero. So you would do you know, the final thing minus the initial thing, so minus minus five. Then I would do plus M times L, which I just have to put in, plus M times CW, that's the specific heat capacity of water, times delta T of the water. Now what does the water do? Well, it's gonna start off after it's melted, it's at zero degrees, and it's gonna go from zero to 50. So this is gonna be 50 minus zero. So now I just put it all in, so I have MC times five plus ML plus MCW times 50. And by the way, I should have said ice here. 
And if we just want to pretty it up here, fine, we can say that's then 5MC ice. I could put this one in here next, so plus 50MCW plus ML. This is your answer. If you notice, that right there was actually answer C. So that's why we end up with this, right? So just so you know, this is how we can actually solve it. I hope you can see that although it took a little while, it's actually not so crazy. It's just a little bit time consuming, which is kind of annoying because when it's paper one, you don't have so much time, but there you go. So this is the answer. That's how much energy you have to add.